What's up, everybody? Noah Kissy back here for yet another review. Working my way through the Best Picture reviews. Uh, I will have quite a few more. I'm going to work my way through all of them uh, during the next three days and even some past Best Picture winners. And two films that are not. But I will get into those later like towards the end of this video <clears throat> call me by your name is nominated for i believe best lead actor screenplay maybe even director i know it's nominated for best picture so that's why i am reviewing it call me by your name is all about timothy chalamet's character who's a 17 year old student and Ar army hammer and Army Hammer, who is hired as his father's assistant. And they strike up a relationship. Now, first off, I am not into the homosexual stuff or anything like that. That's just not my thing. But since this was nominated for Best Picture, I knew it was going to get some awards buzz. I watched it, and I am reviewing it. Um, as a film. This film is a good film. Do I believe it deserves Best Picture? No. Uh, I think Wind River deserved Best Picture. Or uh, Logan deserved Best Picture. Or even The Big Sick. I still think that this is a wonderfully directed film and a written film. Timothy Chalamet give this kid more roles he's only like 22 give him more roles he's like three years older than me i mean hell why not this kid deserves amazing props this film he gives his all to it he pushes it to places i didn't think he would even go but hey anything for a role right and Army Hammer has one of the best voices in Hollywood. If he could just do an audiobook, I would just... I mean, if he could just do the It audiobook, that's like 50, 48? It's past 40 hours. If he could do the It audiobook, I would just leave that on every single night. He has one of the most calming and deepest voices in Hollywood right now. That is not an old man's voice. Now a problem with the film. Um, it's this 17 year old kid who's trying to find himself. I get that. But his relationships with the other people. Like he sleeps with this girl and it doesn't go anywhere. That girl has nothing to do with the rest of the film. He sleeps with her. She's gone for a little bit. They have a conversation and she's gone. Nothing else about her. Nothing else that happens. And also, problem with the conclusion. Minor spoiler alert. Of course, you know, they don't end up together or anything like that. He He's like 32 or something like that mid-twenties they don't even specify his age but they do say that timothy chalamet is a, a 17 year old kid in high school later in the film you find out that um army hammer is getting married like the last five minutes before the credits start rolling where you see Timothy Chalamet crying, which is amazing acting right there. But they don't specify whether it's a man or a woman. Maybe that's what Luca was going for. Maybe Luca was going for that, trying to keep you guessing what happens next. I don't know, but it, it just kind of ruined it a little bit i'm like is he actually gay is he bisexual was he just acting like it 
And some of the dialogue in this film gets a little bit too cheesy in the gay aspect. But hey, if you're gay, hey, you're gay. I'm proud to say I'm not. But if you're gay, hey, you'll have a heyday with this film. Hey, I rhymed. Uh, Call Me By Your Name, I don't think deserves Best Picture. But it's good enough where I can see it being pushed towards being nominated because this has everything that the Oscars is looking for. The Academy is going to eat this film up. It's probably going to get maybe the screenplay, adapted screenplay award, which I'm hoping goes to Logan. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to give Call Me By Your Name a B, just a big old B, that's it. Now, like I said, I do have more reviews right here, so let's get into this. I have The Neighbor, which is coming tomorrow. The Darkest Hour is in the Blu-ray player now. I'm going to have to take that out because it is pretty late. Don't think I can stand two hours of Winston Churchill at almost 12.30 at night. I've decided to give this Best Picture one another chance, and that is Dunkirk. I believe that Christopher Nolan is probably going to win Best Director. I don't think he should. I think it should go to Greta Gerwig for Lady Bird. Uh, but she's not even nominated, I don't think. If she is, she should win it. She did an amazing job, but I think it should go to Guillermo del Toro. Uh, of course, it's nominated for like sound mixing, sound editing, uh, cinematography, which I think it will win for cinematography because it does have some good cinematography from what I've seen, but I'm going to give this one more chance. And then the film that I am going to watch tonight is an hour 30, and it is called Dog Park. Could be a fun romantic comedy, straight to DVD romantic comedy, or it could be trash. The rest of the Best Picture nominees I still have to review. I still have to review Darkest Hour, <clears throat> Phantom Thread, The Post, and I believe that's it. Uh, I am going to watch get out one more time before the Oscars. That review will be coming on it maybe even coming tomorrow. I don't know. But my next review will be for Dog Park and then tomorrow I will start out with either Dunkirk or The Darkest Hour. Go right into the other film that I don't watch. I may get into The Neighbor. But I'm just trying to get through all the best picture ones. And at the end of these Oscar videos, I will tell you which one I think deserves best picture. And which one I want to win. And then Saturday night going into Oscar Sunday. My Christmas, my Super Bowl... I will do a uh, my picks for the Oscars. So as always, guys, if you liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, I am so sorry, but you clicked on the stupid thing. But if you did, please like this video. Leave a little comment down below and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time.